Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Radhi Fauzan and um, I represent my group for this system demonstration. Um, our system name is Nomikun Grooming Appointment Center and I will be the lead software engineer as the main presenter that will demonstrate uh, the system. So without further ado, let's go. So firstly, uh, the user will be redirected to this landing page where it will see all the necessary information about the pet grooming shop and if we go further down below we will see this randomized feedbacks that is taken that is fetched from the database and displayed publicly in this interface and if i refreshed it again it will uh, pick any three random feedback from the database as the proof this one right here okay so now let's go ahead uh, to customer registration so when I click this customer sign up and let's see how this registration form handle their errors so let's choose something let's pick something uh, let's enter something that will eventually produce an error so uh, I will choose I will enter um, maybe Pujan and then email is Pujan at gmail only without dot com and my phone is uh, phone password is pass one two three but repeat password is pass one two four and then when i click register firstly it will say username error because username length must minimum at least six character so let's see puja 98 and i click register again and it says email error because this email format is actually invalid so you have to uh, enter the correct email format dot com and then register it says password error because the password does not match so match the password first and then click again register again it says phone number error because this is an invalid phone number so you have to enter the correct phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so when i click register it will say it's validating your details and then click ok and it will be and you will be redirected to the login page where you where where you have to uh, key in your uh, username that you have registered just now region 98 and then the password is pass123 as you can see uh, we are successfully redirected but what if our password is incorrect let's see how it handles that so we go to customer login um, let's try the wrong username first maybe a username that does not exist in the database so let's see jane and the password is uh, password pss and then click sign in the username does not exist because jane is not exist in the username database in the users database so Let's see, Vijan98, the username that we have registered just now, and click sign in, it says incorrect password because our correct password is PASS123, sign in. Now, when we are talking about security, we want to check uh, if the credentials and the password that is stored in the database have been encrypted, has been encrypted or not. So, we will check in the My MySQL and let's see if i check select star from pet owner all right let's see select star from pet owner and then as you can see here all the password is encrypted and this is the latest users that we have registered just now the password is encrypted and therefore uh, we will have uh, an enhanced security in that particular thing and for session management uh, when we sign in uh, 
your username will be detected here and um, when uh, when I click back when I click back to maybe login page maybe to login page of course the session is still exists unless you click log out and then as you can see you cannot go back to where you were before you cannot see the home page unless you are logged in so let's try log in again with gen 98 and then pass one two three and click sign in so about the session management um we haven't registered any pet yet so let's see if we register any pet and pet gender is male, chat, fertile, is medium, age class, is junior. But what if we do not put any, any details here? Okay, register my pet, it is a please select fertile, and select it. Please select age class, and select it. Adult, and then register my pet. And then it will send to the servlet for registration handling. And this is the pet that we registered just now. And it is it is stored in this particular JSP page, which is my pet, and then we can straight away to appointment booking. As you can see, this is the pet that we have registered just now. It will go straight to this appointment booking page. So let's book an appointment. And then confirm appointment. It will confirm this booking and redirect it to the booking status page. And in this booking status page, you will view all your bookings that you have made. And the status is still pending. You can either cancel the uh, groom, the, the, the booking, or you can review. But for now, you cannot leave any review yet because the status is still pending. So, um, if I want to demonstrate more features for the, for this user perspective you need to log in as a customer that have made more booking so let's log out and then customer login and then username is radi and then the password is nomi123 so this account has a lot of pet it has a lot of pet and has a lot of appointments with different status okay so in this my appointment page you can filter the list by pending which is uh which we have no pending appointment for now and we can filter by last seven days which is none and then also by last 30 days this is the last 30 days appointment made by the customers and also we can search the pet name and when we search the pet name we only search a pet that is registered by the customers not everyone's pet so when i search uh kuchi it will display kuchi this one so if we view my pet list this is uh, all the pet and then let's see if we search uh pet others pet say the pet that we have registered from the different user Ujian, search and then it will say no records found because that is not your pet and that particular name is not exist in your my pet in your registered pet okay and then we close and then that and then that's it for the customer's perspective now let's go ahead to the staff perspective so uh, for the staff perspective you have to click admin login and then put the username nadi bubble one two three and then sign in so uh at first admin will be redirected to this today's booking page where they will see all the bookings that is made today today's booking because today is 15 it will display all the bookings made today and we can also filter the table by upcoming appointment which is which is uh, none which is empty and then filter by pending appointment only and then filter by today's booking again 
So in this today's booking, we can either can we can either assign a staff is assigned to that particular job, and once it assigned, let's see assign, and then we can complete the job. Say complete. So, uh, once the status is completed, there is no button that you that you can interact with. All buttons are disabled. And then, if the status is pending and we attempt to complete, and then it will say you are not allowed to perform this operation because the status is still pending. You have to assign yourself first. And then, if we if we already assign and you want to assign it again, it will say something like the job is already assigned to Nadi. This is to ensure that no other staff can interfere with your job in this grooming thing okay click ok since this status is completed let's log in as fuzzly as a customer to leave a review of the booking and then we and then completed as you can see, uh, the job is already completed. Then we can leave a review. Good. And then submit. And then your response has been successfully recorded. Click OK. And then log out to see as admin. Uh, ready? Mobile one, two, three, sign in. And then if we, if we see the feedback button. Fuzzly will be right here and this is the feedbacks that we have left just now that we have left just now this is the feedbacks so uh, we have covered today's booking page and also we can search customer from this page let's see Fuzzly or maybe Fuzz just the substring so let's search and it will still display all the name that have F S Z in their name it will display all the query here and then uh, let's see on feedbacks on uh, this feedbacks the the staff can view all feedbacks that all the feedbacks from all customers and then they can also filter the feedbacks by this week only and also by this month and then we can search stuff nadi which is none because nadi is actually uh, a wrong name close and then not it will display not and that's it and then finally let's see on the report page and this report page we can view all appointments all their records that have been made all the status that is either completed or rated so they can search name kai and it will display all partic all specific name uh, in this case kai rail and all their date all their booking dates all their pet all their charges and so on and last but not least my favorite features of all time is this generate sales report if you click this one, it will generate the sales report uh, for the last 30 days. This beautifully rendered sales report. And also, it will calculate uh, the sales for the last 30 days, which is 770, 787 ringgit. And then you can click close. So let's see. Um, I think that's it. Thank you for paying attention to this system so we have covered uh, session management create which are uh, create um, create your pet create users create bookings and we have update uh, and, and we have already covered update which we can assign complete cancel and delete we have covered on report this one report we can view the generate sales report thing and then uh, for the screen design, that is up to you to judge. And 
that's it thank you and assalamualaikum